I have here a solid block, but this block is really thirsty. We can even use a bigger bottle and it can still soak it all in. So what is this magic thirsty block? It's actually a block of magnesium carbonate, also known generically as gym chalk. This is the chalk you see gymnasts or rock climbers putting on their hands. The reason they do this is because magnesium carbonate is very porous. It has billions of micro and nanopores that are just waiting to be filled with water. Look at that, it didn't even come close to absorbing all the way into it yet. <laughs> we could have held a lot more water in there. Not only that, but it'll drink oil as well. If I turn this beaker of ferro fluid upside down on it, it drinks the whole thing. If we break open the one with the ferro fluid, you can see how all the liquid now fills the gaps in the pores. The liquid's trapped in there though. Even if I bring a strong neodymium magnet to it, it won't pull the ferrofluid out of the chalk. But now the chalk is just magnetic and the magnet sticks to it. So we've made magnetic chalk. So the force that holds the liquid in the pores is greater than the force of the magnet trying to pull it out. Once the liquid gets in there, it's hard to get out, but not impossible. You can create a driving force to get water out of it by heating it up. And it turns into a vapor that will be forced out of the chalk. But you don't have to use heat if you have a liquid that evaporates easily at room temperature, like alcohol. Using pure alcohol, it's possible to make something called liquid chalk. So all I did here was get 91% isopropyl alcohol and then crunch it up with this chalk and make this paste. Okay, so watch this. I just take a little glob of this, put it on my hand, <laughs> rub it all around like this, and it's clear, right? But watch what happens when I blow on my hands. <laughs> it turns completely white. Now this is just dry chalk that can be used to absorb moisture. This is happening because the alcohol that was absorbed in the pores suddenly evaporates leaving behind the dry chalk that can then be used to absorb any moisture on your hands. Now we know that chalk is thirsty, but let's see if we can make it more thirsty by sucking out the air from the chalk and so the air doesn't have to try to escape as the liquid goes into it. Let's put it in my vacuum chamber and suck out the air and then quickly drop it in some water afterwards and see if anything changes. Okay, first here's what it looks like with no vacuum. And I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. These last few years have been difficult for everyone and one of the most important things you can do in times like this is to focus on your mental health. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service, and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call and you can message your therapist anytime and schedule a live session when it's convenient for you. And what's cool is if your therapist isn't the right fit for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge as well. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who's custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility at a more affordable price. So get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash action lab, or you can click the link in the description. And thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Okay, this has been going for about five minutes now. Let's see what this looks like outside the water. So it still feels pretty dry, even though it was submerged in water and bubbles coming out. Okay, now let's put on our new block. Okay, now we're gonna vacuum out the air. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, now I'm gonna drop it in, and as soon as it goes in, I'm gonna open the vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. So it's bubbling like normal. So I actually don't see any bubbles coming off of it whatsoever. Literally no bubbles. So in an instant, it completely absorbed full of water now. Okay, you can see the difference between the two. This is the one we vacuumed. You can see it's like visibly wet and shiny. So it's completely saturated. Whereas the one we left in there for five minutes still looks pretty dry. This is similar to the way that you can make instant pickles by putting cucumbers in vinegar and then you're sucking out the air so the air bubbles out of the cucumber. And then when you let the air back in, it instantly sucks in the vinegar into the cucumber. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.